Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. We don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You really like that girl. What's not to like? It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry, too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper, then. It'll be a good one. how to fix this if something goes wrong. They're clueless about this stuff. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. 
Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> Kids. Put in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul.
It's a feeding trough. It's a feeding trough. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. How does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. 